Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo. And I'm Alexa Kali. Students of Northampton High School, what is the meaning of the colors we wear? We all on the same team, blues and pyrus, no colors ain't a thing. Social media blew up with the controversy this week as local students voiced their opinions on what happened to the selective silencing of certain students. From the administration's perspective, the matter was more complicated than what met the eye, so assemblies were held on Tuesday to answer student questions. We had our own questions for the parties involved, so we took to the halls of NHS to understand this issue and share it with the community. Alright, so first off, my name is Luis Aguayza and I go by Tito. Lots of you know me and lots of you don't. I was suspended from school not because of the gang associated color red, but because I have a verbal altercation on Instagram and Snapchat leading to my suspension. I'd like to say that I respect our community, including administration, but I'm feeling deeply affected by their actions. The false accusations have affected the way my teachers speak about me and view me in general. Some of the faculty and staff at NHS were talking about my situation without prior knowledge. Administration threatened to suspend me if I chose to wear my favorite color red at the meeting for my suspension. My mother and I were very frustrated and upset with the accusations and discipline set in place if me and my peers were red. I felt hopeless and very upset because he belittled me saying you could try and fight this but you won't win. I responded with immature backlash. I realized I do have a voice and I'm being heard sending emails back and forth with the student body, counselors, and reporters. I'm very thankful for everyone who dressed in red to support me. I want to, I want to apl applaud um, just our students in general. It, you know, it's a great example, I think, of the, the concern our students have for each other and the community that they um, they live in and where they're coming to school. Those meetings yesterday were, they were tough as administrators and adults that we are willing to meet with students and explore those issues um, and give those opportunities for t students to speak and raise their concerns. Can you respond to concerns brought forth by students of racial profiling? I can absolutely say that um, that is not at all what, what this is about from our perception, um, our perspective, um, our intent at all. Um, it is simply behavior driven. That aside, um, we as, as, as administrators need to be mindful of what happens if you begin to have behaviors. How, how do you deal with those behaviors when it might be that it seems to be coming from certain students? So according to the Massachusetts Department of Education's 2018 enrollment data, the student body at NHS is 12.9% Hispanic, making us the largest represented racial slash, slash ethnic majority here after white people. How is the school working to elevate and celebrate its Hispanic students and educate all students on their culture? Yeah, I think I would honestly say we can do better. Um, in the past, we've had um, cultural um, events in our school. Um, we'd have like dinners and, and families and local um, restaurants would donate food when we'd, we'd um, try to have food representative of the cultures that we had. And somewhere along the line for, for you know, whatever reasons, I, I don't know, it wasn't a conscious choice to stop that seems to somehow have, um, you know, fallen by the wayside. So I, I think it's, you know, time that, you know, um, the, the adults and the students find a way, how can we get that, that back? So at some of Tuesday's assemblies, you spoke of previous gang affiliation scares at Northampton High School mm -hmm. involving students wearing yellow and black, which you said is representative of the Latin Kings gang. Students feel that the rhetoric used when addressing Latino influence is often negative. Can you speak to the history of this perceived negative rhetoric and how you intend to combat it? Yeah, so if what was said or expressed in this then I apologize because that was not the, the intent and that is not the lens that, that we're looking um, at this. I'm not one to sit there and, and have us say that our lens is, oh, this cultural group is more, is more likely to do this than that one. Th that, that is not the case. We, we um, do a lot of work on understanding our biases, but, but really we're a community and communities grow and change all the time. Thank you for watching this special coverage and make sure to reach out and voice your opinion, questions or concerns whenever necessary. Bye! Bye.